RV Shop and Chef here today and uh, we are prepared to do the replacement of the video camera on the right and left side blinker uh, actuated cameras for the coach. Thanks to the guys at uh, RV Cams Inc. Let's take a look at their invoice so you know who to deal with. Well it's a nice day here in North Texas and uh, for those here at RV Shop and Chef here's the next project for us. This old blinker camera that has been hanging here. Actually, it had one of the screws out and one of the rivets was broken. And the reason I wanted to do this was just to have a good crisp image inside the coach. I don't use them that much, but there's occasions where they're useful and I'm busy trying to stay on top of all the maintenance. And if we ever move on to a bigger coach, maybe, um, yeah, we'll have, uh, we'll have everything in perfect order. Meantime, we do have a replacement. Here he is. And I'll let you know the company that we're working with. I think it's rvcams.com. Great guys. You'll notice that the lens on it is bigger. Looks like it's got an infra capability on it. This one's pretty basic if you look at him. So uh, yeah, let's get going. So right now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drill out. You see, I've already drilled out one of the pop rivets here. And so just let's kind of uh, zoom in on that. You got two more pop rivets here. And I do have, this is my trusty uh, Coach Milwaukee. I keep it handy. There's our plug. Got that in, see if I can get that in the daylight. Plug and play. All right, so here is our setup. This is the Tradition 40J. You're looking at the standard dash setup. <coughs> and down here, this is the Sony, uh, Sony monitor. I'm probably gonna replace that too. But look down here, Sony color camera system, VCB 62MH. Okay, what's our next step? Well, here's the mount where that old light went. So I'm working with sandpaper just to cut through all of it and get to a status that I can then um, shoot some primer and then shoot some uh, top coat. All right, what have we done? Well, we sanded out the piece right here where the old light was taped it up, sanded it out. Here's an example of side camera one now installed. It had three very small screws that went through fiberglass. And then I had these big screws that are here on the outside, you can see that were the old screw housings. So I've just painted them blue. Actually, I replaced them with stainless steel and then I painted them blue. The other thing is, is that this coach, H2007, it's a Fleetwood American coach. Um, they use these kind of oval at the top and flat at the bottom green plugs. Those plugs are just inside the nose cap on the uh, generator here. So it's super easy to replace. You only have about four feet or three feet of wire there, and then it plugs into an extension cable that goes all the way into the back of the, of the coach uh, head unit. So, but there he is, there mounted on this side as well. So it's been a good project so far, and uh, boy, is there a huge difference in what used to be there and this now. 
And here's your replacement part number. So that is a VCB SV3 Sam Victor 3 MHD motorhome, the um, dash 02. It looks like they've marked it. And you can see side housing. They make a right and a left. And so uh, probably a slightly different code number on each one. So that is your part, and it is a direct replacement and direct plug-in for the old cameras that came with this Sony head unit. So, uh, and there's a view of the picture. How's that for a great picture? You know, compared to the, uh, the old center camera, let's take a look at it. And there it is. Ah, okay, not so bad. Um, you can see things. You can see that camera, um, the center-mounted rear camera is a little older and fuzzier. And you'll notice that the monitor has a big black blob in the front right corner right over here. And that black blob is why we're going to replace this old Sony monitor as well. So that's, there's your right hand camera. Center camera, aging. Left hand camera, brand new. All right, we are under the nose of the generator pullout. And you can see right here, this is where I ran the cable through. And so that goes right out to the outside there. That's where the camera is. And I've just tried to seal that up with silicone. And then on down here, you'll see the extension cable. There's a cable right here and there's the plug. Now, what I've done is I've just connected those two in the plug and then I wire tied it right up against here. And so that plug goes into a wire harness that goes right on back over to the, uh, to the main head unit. My favorite little flex light. All right, challenge accepted. Cable is through, you see where we are now? Let's just take a look back in there. That's the connection that runs right around to this side where we can see the, uh, the RV camera cable going through. And here is the back of the old Sony monitor where the three cameras can be unplugged. All right, here we are looking at the backup camera from Sony. And with the key on, now we want to see the left blinker camera. Hmm, pretty. Now let's see, we just plugged in I've run the cable, but I haven't buried it correctly, and so let's just see what happens when we... I have connected the right side blinker cable through the hole in the side of the generator uh, slide out. And look at that. We're looking at the concrete on the ground, and so that means that the intermittent cable problem that we had should be fixed. So now the next question we have is let's start on all of the wire ties. There's your penetration on the uh, firewall, and so we need to tie that cable down there, and then we need to work it all the way back through the back of the, uh, the coach cabinet uh, behind the dash. Let's get those wire ties on. So here we have, I'm using medium wire ties, that's what I've got. So I'm gonna take those wire ties and tie that cable down as it runs all through the back of the coach. Then, leaving as much slack as I can, I'm gonna go tie it down under the generator cover. All right, there's the connector to our camera. And I'm gonna tape that up and then wire tie that up and probably mount it somewhere like right here. There's the old cable, I haven't taken it out yet. Didn't find a great need to do anything with it. There is the mounting location. So right now, we have this cable loose here and it needs to go all the way down through this area. And so there's a big slack loop right there and then we have uh, we have the route that we need to follow. So, All right. So I think that's where we have it. Let's get some more ties on. Yeah. 